a box opening for you guys of a Trinket Box Kids Kitara doll. Now, when I first saw, these are by artist Kim Arnold, when I first saw her share the first work in progress of the Katara face sculpt, I knew that I had to have her. Um, but I had thought to myself, I'm gonna wait and get the Trinky Dink size. So Kim does her Trinket Box Kids in a couple of different sizes. One is the 18 inch size that this doll is. And then she has a Trinky Dink size, which is smaller. It's more of a 12 or 13 inch size. And I, I was like, I'm gonna wait and get the Trinky Dink size because you know it's harder to collect big dolls. But then when the pre-order came out, I couldn't wait. It's like, there's no way I'm waiting for this. I'm ordering the big doll right away. And the cool thing about this doll is that Kim customized every single outfit. So she handmade every outfit for every guitar doll from this pre-order. And then she let everyone choose in order of their pre-order uh, which outfit they wanted. I think I was number six. So I got a nice early pick. Then make sure there's nothing else in here because she told us that uh, there might be some accessories to the side. All right, so let's let's get her opened up here. And I'm gonna pull her out of the bubble wrap. I should have opened her earlier because I needed this bubble wrap a little bit ago. That's okay. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna use this because the it's taped up pretty nicely here. All right. There's some of it. And it, this did come from Canada and the Canadian postal system, they're talking about striking again. I know this because at work I deal a lot with our Canadian business side of things. So I'm really glad I got her already. Uh, hopefully that won't affect uh, anybody else with their orders, but those postal workers have threatened to strike a few times before, and I think it never lasts long when they do. Anyway, okay, we're almost there. Get that out. Alrighty, so I've got here, oh, what's this? Oh, we got a magnet there. I love the magnets she sends. They're all over my refrigerator. I've got some on my refrigerator at home and some on my refrigerator at work. Cause it's nice to have the, the you know, the little doll stuff at work to remind you that life is fun. Work's not bad, I'm just kidding. But anyway, okay, so here's her certificate. And uh, she is, oh, this is interesting. So I think she's announced this before. Katara is on her 19 inch body and this is the last head sculpt on this original chunky body. Later this year, she's gonna introduce new doll head sculpts on a brand new, more poseable doll body that's scaled down in size. That's really cool. Okay, so I got the cocoa resin for this girl. So let's open up her more. Ah! Okay, I've been waiting forever for this doll. Not forever, that's not true. Kim's pre-orders actually go really fast. When I say forever, it's because I've been waiting since she first showed the first work in progress of this doll. And, um, but her pre-orders go very fast because she does all of her own face-ups. So she doesn't have to wait for a factory face-up to come back. She gets the doll, she paints them. And I love the job she does with that. So you don't have to wait as long. Alrighty, here's my girl. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's tied down of course. So let's get to working on this. And I chose, like I said, I was number six, so I got a pretty early choice. So of course I chose something purple because, you know, I love purple. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so we've got unwrap there. Oh, look at that, she's got, I didn't even notice that before. She's got a gold uh, wrap bracelet around her arm. That is really nice. That's so pretty. Okay, let's get this poor girl out. Mm, smell that new resin. I love the smell of new resin. All right, so I'm be careful because of course I'm horrible with wigs. Oh, oh, it stayed on. 
that is a miracle. And let's remove these. Gosh, wow. She is a beauty. Oh, I love her face so much. She's got a little bit of cotton. Don't worry, I just washed my hands. Got a little bit of cotton there on her eyes. She's incredible. I just love, because a lot of artists, when they do an African-American doll, they just do their regular sculpt in like a chocolate resin, but she actually sculpted an African-American doll. And I love, I just love her. I think she is so, so beautiful. Wow, she's perfect. Look at that face. I just wanna kiss it, but I don't, I'm not gonna kiss it because I'll ruin it. Okay, so let's stand her up. And she is a heavy girl. Oh, oh, wait, she's still tied down. Let's get her feet untied here. Okay, I love the little sandal boots she did. So they're like, I believe she cut these all out herself. I think they were leather boots and she customized them. I don't even know how she thinks to do things like this. That's why she's an artist and I'm not because I would never think to cut the toes out of boots to make these really neat sandals like this. Okay, so here's my girl right here and she's got these beads and purple feathers, which I love. And I love, oh wow, I love this dress. So she shared photos of all the dresses, but until you see it in person, you know, it's, wow, it's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, stand up, honey. So I've cleared off a spot on my, um, I have a shelf just for Kim's dolls and I've got a spot cleared off for Katara. And she is so beautiful. I'm gonna turn around and look at her, indulge myself just a moment. So you can see uh, her outfit, let me pull it up there on her. She's got all this nice detailed work and like I said, Kim did all this by hand. So all this beading and these, this feather work and then I love the strips of batik here. And then she's got a, she's got a little burlap bag. Oh, it's got something inside. Let's see what it could be. Uh, is that a necklace or a bracelet or, oh, 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 she's got something else. Hang on, hang on, hang on. She's got earrings and uh, this is a necklace for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on her. So there's her necklace, oh, love it. And then her ears are pierced. You can see the little ears have a piercing here. So we're gonna go ahead and put her gold hoops in. So she's gonna be ready for display at the conclusion of this video. Oh, don't fall over. I need about five hands to do this. I have two though, so I'm just gonna do the best I can. Got one in, and then let's do the other one. Isn't she fantastic? Oh, this came unhooked. Let's turn it back around. There we go. She's so, so, so gorgeous. Ugh. I'm glad I got in on the pre-order. This pre-order sold out completely. Now, she is an open edition, so if you want one, all you have to do is message Kim, and next time she has an order, she will do one for you. She's really, really good about working with her customers uh, on their dolls to get exactly what they want. She does her past editions, as long as they're open editions. So if you miss something, you know, get get it from her. She'll, she'll be glad to do it for you. Um, but this doll is so, I, I think this is my favorite one of her dolls. I think this is my favorite. Before this, it was a tie between Kimmy and Meadow, but I think Katara has gotten, broken the tie here and she's up at the top. She is just so pretty. Wow. Well, I'll put the link to Kim's website in the comments here, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you've got any questions, Leave them for me in a comment below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.